Have you ever made tacos at home? Um, I bet some of you have, but I don't know if you've ever made cauliflower tacos. I'm adding a little bit of extra virgin oil into a saute pan, and I have this cauliflower, it's all raw, and it's cut nice and tiny. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it into a saute pan. And it doesn't take long to cook at all. And you can add some of your favorite spices to it. I also have some sliced jalapenos, and I'm gonna add those in now because I want them to caramelize along with the cauliflower. So this is a mixture, it can all go into a blender quite easily. It's just uh, sour cream, a little half and half, and avocado, some lime, and some cilantro all pureed up together. So to build your taco, which we'll start doing while we're waiting for the cauliflower to cook, let me give them a little, a little movement in there. Ah, oh, browning up beautifully. So I have some warm tortillas. Okay, we'll put a little bit of the crema down, which just makes it really good and creamy. Lime wedge on the side. So now that the cauliflower is almost fully cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and start to season it. I have some big salt with me, it's called Malden. It's kind of a crunchy sea salt. I'm going really slight with the cumin, a little heavier with the smoked paprika. Same amount of turmeric. Mm. Soften it just a couple seconds more. Really seal in all that good spice. Go ahead and place it directly onto your tortilla, onto your crema. Now, if you don't feel like eating tacos, this cauliflower is delicious on its own. Let's go ahead and top it with some of this queso fresco and then cilantro. And there you have it, cauliflower tacos. Enjoy them. To surprise your guests with my cauliflower taco recipe, go to checkpleasefl.com.